This episode of Brains on Games is about a dexterity game that's for the birds. Welcome to Brains on Games. I'm Dr. Brian McDonald, and like I said earlier, this episode we're going to talk about a dexterity game. A while back, early in the process of starting Brains on Games, a company called Haba sent me a pile of stuff. These are the same people who created Rhino Hero, a game that we love at our house. And so I've had a chance to play a whole bunch of Haba games, but I haven't had a chance to talk about them all yet. One of our favorites is this one. It's called, you can hear it rattling around, it's called Go Cuckoo. Go Cuckoo is a game that you can play with between two and five players. It works with kids aged four and up, and you can play a game in about 15 minutes. Let's take a look at Go Cuckoo. And you would think that an adult like myself would not be as excited to talk about a game that's okay for four-year-olds, but I love this game. And we've had so many laughs playing it at home with my kids who are teenagers. It's just funny and ridiculous. You can see here that the box, the, the tube, the can that the game comes in is also where you play the game. You've got these sticks inside that can with colors on the ends, and on your turn, you are going to pull out one of these sticks Okay, you can pull out up to three, and they often have different colors on the other side. So, I pulled out a red one. Now, because it has green on the bottom, the next stick I pull has to have green on the top. And I'm trying to continue to pull these sticks up to three until I get one, look at that, just by luck, until I get one that has the same color on both sides. At that point, if I'm able to do it within those three pulls, I can place these sticks on the can horizontally because I'm building a nest where I'm going to balance these eggs. So you start the game with a certain number, I think you start with five eggs at the beginning and you're trying to get these eggs balanced on the nest that you're building. This is a huge motor exercise, a visual motor hand-eye coordination exercise. At first it's easy, right? I can place these things anywhere I want you're also thinking about balancing between, <laughs> balancing literally, but you're balancing between making it easy enough for you to place one of your eggs, but making it more difficult for the opponents. If your opponent drops an egg down into the can or drops an egg down here, they have to take an extra egg from the person who has the most. You'll be placing these sticks along the way, and maybe at the beginning you're going to Try and make it a little bit easier because there, there aren't very many sticks and then you're carefully going to balance. So I really like, well, see what I did? I've already ruined it. But I really like these dexterity games for kids who have any kind of motor problems, if handwriting is an issue, anything, motor planning, anything like that, just that hand-eye coordination and motor skills. But also kids who are impulsive can really benefit from playing games like this, these dexterity games, where you have to be careful and think before you make a move. You've got to have that steady hand. Uh, one of my kids tended to have, he, he was pretty shaky when he was playing games like this because he'd be nervous that he was going to knock over the tower or knock over the nest. But over time, the more he played, now his hand is a lot steadier. That practice was really helpful for him. Games like this, I think, because they're easy to learn and easy to teach, and they do tend to be fun for everybody, whether it's adults or young kids who are playing it, are really valuable, I think, to have around the house because it's easy just to pull it out and play it with new people. I've built up the nest here a little bit and managed to balance a few of the eggs so that you can see what it looks like as the game progresses. And obviously, it's going to get increasingly difficult to move the pieces and place those eggs without knocking something down. I mentioned what happens if you knock an egg down, but if you knock one of the sticks off or your stick falls off as you're placing it, you place that back on the nest, but your turn is done. So you don't get to place an egg in that case, regardless of whether you manage to draw a stick that had the same color on both ends. Once a player has run out of eggs to place, that's where the end game starts to get closer. Because after that, you've got to balance the cuckoo on that nest somehow. This is a big wooden bird that has to balance without knocking eggs off, without knocking the sticks off, he's got to balance somehow on this nest, and that's how a player can win the game, is by balancing the cuckoo at the end. 
And there you have it, a quick overview of Go Cuckoo. It's a super fun motor skills game all about eye-hand coordination and motor planning that works with kids of almost all ages and adults too, like I said. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, of course, you can find me at brian at brainsongames.ca. Brainsongames.ca is the website where you can find previous episodes and future episodes will go up there too. Brains on Games is the Twitter handle and the Instagram feed and the Facebook page. I should thank the folks over at Haba once again for sending me Go Cuckoo and all the other games that they sent along with this one. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to be notified of future ones, you can head on over to YouTube and click that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.